Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Friday, 4th of October. In this update, a state of emergency has Otago residents being advised to remain alert today. North Otago, Dunedin and coastal Cluthers, red heavy rain warning is in effect until 9pm. Significant flooding is being reported in several parts of the city and residents are being encouraged to self-evacuate if needed. 70 people evacuated to civil defence centres at St Clair Golf Club and Forsyth Bar Stadium. Dunedin civil defence manager Scott McLean told Ryan Bridge there's plenty more rain to come. We understand the river levels have receded a bit, but it's still raining fairly steadily. Met service last night forecast up to 100 mils for the following 24 hours. Jill is on Surrey Street in South Dunedin. I'm lucky. I'm just elevated. Just that little bit that the water's just running away from my place. At the bottom of Surrey Street, it's just like a lake. Meanwhile, Fire and Emergency Assistant Commander Nick McQuillan says between six last night and four this morning, they were called to 29 incidents which were mostly flood-related. Firefighters are assisting police with precautionary evacuations of properties near a slip in the Dunedin suburb of St Leonard's. The Senior Doctors' Union is taking little heart from improvements in the health system. Health New Zealand's released its report for the quarter to June, which shows a preliminary $934 million deficit for the financial year. The health minister says there's encouraging progress on four of five targets. Association of Salaried Medical Specialists Executive Director Sarah Dalton told Ryan Bridge the improvements are not significant enough to take comfort in. What our members tell us and you know, there are senior doctors and dentists out there on the front line in hospitals that um, there are still significant staffing gaps. Hang in there, that's the message being given to businesses following another month of disappointment. Worldline data suggests consumer retail spending was down about 3.5% last month compared to the same time in 2023. It shows Southland took the greatest hit of all the regions, down almost 12%. Chief Sales Officer Bruce Profit attributes it to mass redundancies causing more people to watch their spending, but he says things should be improving by Christmas. Positive signs on the home front. The second tranche of census data has been released, revealing 66% of households now own their home or hold it in a trust. Infometrics principal economist Brad Olson says it's up from 64.5% in 2018. The first time since the 90s the home ownership rate has gone up. At the same time, we've also seen that homes across New Zealand have been healthier over the last five years. We've seen a drop in the number of homes that have had mould or that are damp. Meanwhile, more than half of us are not religious and 1 in 20 identify as part of the rainbow community. And in sport, two eagles and five birdies have seen Daniel Hillier post the day's top score on the St Andrews Old Course to open golf's Alfred Dunhill Links Championship. Former Silver Ferns captain Adine Wilson has been left scratching her head at coach Dame Nolene Todua's use of three different centres in the Tiny Jamison Trophy Series defeat by England. New Zealand Rugby has asked World Rugby to clarify France's plans not to select some of their top stars for next year's three-test tour here. And Bangladesh have ended a 16-match, decade-long losing streak in women's 2020 Cricket World Cup matches with a win over Scotland to start this year's tournament. And I'm Neva Reti Manu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.